that series of books behind you in the middle shelf? Oh, it's that's Animorphs. That's the Animorphs. Are you dude. serious? Nice. Oh yeah, I read all the Animorphs growing up. That's crazy. Except for maybe I'm missing like around five books or something. One thing that I promised myself as an adult is that I would finish reading the Animorph series because as a kid, it was just piecemeal. I would like find a book here, find a book there, and I never finished the series, but I fucking loved it so much. So now I have almost all the books. I have all the companion books. I have all the Megamorphs. I have fucking everything, dude. Whoa. If you could, uh, what would your animal be? Oh, shit, I know dude. It. Well, I, I know you're uh, the one in your joke, at least. Which is great. Oh, yeah. Right. Because I talked about, you know what? That has come up in very many different iterations because it's something that I found, like, thought about a lot. Like, when I was a kid, he's the joke that he's talking about, if you have not seen it, is as a kid, I lived on a llama farm. And so this is, like, took a couple of different, like, directions. We had a Boston Terrier, too. So I would, like, put my hand on my aunt's Boston <laughs> Terrier and be like, <laughs> <laughs> interior but we i also did it with the llamas and it didn't work um but if i those were not choices that was just what was around me you work mm -hmm. with what you have yeah. i would not choose to become a boss interior or a llama if i could really mm -hmm. choose i mean obviously it would be a dragon but that makes it, sense. it has to be th things you can get your hands on you know so yeah. it really the figurines yes i wonder oh my god well i don't know what i could realistically get my hands on what do I? What animals do I contact on the daily? Um, probably that duck. That Maybe. duck. It's That's a good duck. I was chasing it around today and I couldn't pick it up, but I picked up <laughs> one of its chickens, one of his chickens, <laughs> and uh, the first time it freaked the fuck out and did the whole like chicken freak out thing. It was pretty cool. And Where they go really flat and weird. Oh no! It was just like like the cartoonish chicken flapping and just okay. screaming like crazy freak out. And I was like, Oh yay! It's just as good. Uh, but then I got to hold one and that was cool too. Hell yeah. yeah. What were you going to say? Have you ever what? Who me? I lost no. It. Zach. No, I forgot. No. Mm. That's okay. We used to have chickens when I lived on the farm is something that I like to say a lot. And uh, I would chase them around and they would do this thing that I still don't know what it was where they would just give up all of a sudden and <laughs> stop and put their wings out and just be like, please don't hurt me. And that's, <laughs> they would stay still. And then at that point, I'd always be like, well, this makes me feel like an asshole. So I'm just going to leave. Maybe that was their goal. Maybe that was their game plan. Just yeah. to be like, I'm a weak little chicken. Please don't. But Yeah, you're the bear. <clears throat> yeah, they're taking the <laughs> <Yeah>. pity angle. <laughs> they are. They're, um, they're the emotional manipulators of the animal kingdom. <laughs> so, Zach, you're also an uh, anamorph nerd. What would your... Uh, anamorph animal be if I can get my hands on any animal, probably like a I think a gorilla would be pretty cool, or maybe you're uh, a Marco. Say what? So you're a Marco then. Oh yeah. Yeah, I could see yeah, it. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Maybe a giraffe, just because I'm tall, <laughs> or like an alpha cat, like a lion. You wouldn't want to try being something short. Nope. <laughs> Why would I want to be short when I've experienced being tall? It's great. <laughs> you'll, you'll try it out sometime being short is not so bad i can reach stuff that's under stuff true and you're gonna live longer than me yep but that's for other reasons too <laughs> i like how like short people are always like you know there's advantages and disadvantages to both sides and tall <laughs> people are like never want to be your size ever <laughs> yeah it's it, it is nice uh you feel more a little more useful i'm only six one and he you're six five yeah yeah so uh a monster I, we still get called, you know, into the other room to like, hey, can you come reach this? And it, it could just be Emma either being lazy or wanting to make us feel useful, but it feels nice. Why not both? Why not both? Oh, it's legitimate weakness, dude. It is on. We don't want to call you. Like we have to call the tall people in sometimes. Yeah, yeah I could get the laziness. stool. I, sometimes I don't want to get my stepping stools. Though. Yeah. The one thing I would trade though is the uh, the ease of buying clothes. Like I can never, I can't really go thrifting or anything because it's so rare that I find anything in my size. Yep. We got to find something that's extra large. We got to get long. multiple shirts and stitch them together. I've thought about that. <laughs> or just buying extra, 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 extra large shirts and then slimming them down to my perfect. There you go. Ripped physique. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite Animorphs book? Oh, man. That's actually not hard at all. It's The Elemist. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I was going to be like, I don't know. I do know. It's the Elemist Chronicles. It's a companion book. It's not one of the main books. So if I had to choose a main book, it's the one where Cassie becomes a yerk. Uh, I can't remember the name of that one. Like a circle <laughs> house? What? Like a circle house? 
No, no. A yerk is the main foe in the books. It's an alien race. I take this very seriously, Chad. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just I'm just joking around with this stuff. The slug that goes into your ear and wraps around your brain and takes control over your body. Mm -mm. It's a very rich universe. Uh, <laughs> and they be, she, she literally becomes the enemy. So it, it violates all sorts of ethical rules. It is a very good, uh, very good book. So I look at my daughter would like those. Oh, she would uh, love them. How old is she? She'll be nine in November. But she's I would a wait. really good reader. They kind of deal with some pretty heavy concepts such as war, <laughs> violence, death, things like that. But from a more childlike perspective that really appealed to me as a kid from a broken home where they dealt with things that were kind of really in intense, but from a younger perspective. So if you're down with that, then yes, totally give it to her. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Yeah. This has uh, been Animorphs. An <laughs> an mm. <laughs> um, but those are, those are still like available. You can still find those. They're not collector's items anymore. They're incredibly cheap because no one gives a shit still. So. Oh, sweet. Cool. That'll be fun. I love those covers, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so they're cool. great. Embossed.